NASA Glenn Research Center has developed a new laser-induced fluorescence diagnostic system that is fully compatible with the testing of high-power engineering electric propulsion devices. This diagnostic system was functionally checked during a test on the Hermes Technology Development Unit 1 Hall Thruster in VF6. Then, the new diagnostic was applied to the AEPS Engineering Test Unit 2 produced by Aerojet Rocketdyne in VF5. The goal of the test was to learn enough about the energetic plasma exhaust so that the team can accurately predict the wear life of the thruster. The thruster was mounted on a mobile test stand to enable measurement at many locations. Because the injection of physical probes was found to strongly perturb plasma in the discharge channel, lasers are instead used to measure the velocity of the plasma exhaust. Laser light, generated external to the tank, is injected via three stationary optics. The injection optics are at fixed positions, but with motors to allow remote control of tilt and pan for alignment. A reference target mounted at a known distance from the thruster is used to align the injected lasers between tests. Two cameras monitor the positions of the injected laser beams relative to the reference target. Collection optics observe the fluorescence emitted by the xenon as it is excited by the lasers. An optical fiber carries the signal out of the vacuum facility. Hall effect thrusters produce thrust by propelling ionized xenon with an electric field. For the laser-induced fluorescence test, lasers instead of probes were used to study velocity in order to not perturb plasma flow. The xenon atoms interact with the laser light based on the frequency of the light and the speed of the atoms. Only ions moving at a certain velocity toward or away from the laser beam will interact with the laser and release fluorescence. The frequency of the laser light is varied in order to map the velocities of the population. Fluorescence emitted by the xenon ions is gathered by the collection optics. After data is gathered at one point, the motion stage moves the thruster in order to allow data gathering at a new point. During testing, the alignment of the lasers could be checked by moving the test article such that the reference target was located at the point of interest. If necessary, the lasers could be fine-tuned using pan and tilt motors. Data shows two streams of energetic ions bombarding the inner front pole cover from opposite directions. The team has since improved the thruster wear model to provide much more accurate predictions of thruster wear life.